I'm here to talk today about the two and a half inch wonky ruler. It's our brand new ruler that we use to just to give a little twist to our blocks. Now on the ruler there are several slots and they're numbered for the order. We have a two inch square that's pre-printed in the middle. We're going to be using that as a reference. And then over on the side it's very important that you notice and you have the word front facing. You should be able to read the word. That's going to make your block rotate in a counterclockwise motion. If we turn the ruler over, you'll see you now can read the word back. And that's going to have your block rotate in a clockwise motion. So depending on what pattern you're using, that's going to be real important. Um, for today's pattern, we're going to be doing the twisted log cabin. And I'm always going to be using the front side of the ruler. So let's get started with that. We're going to start with making, sewing our center to our first light. This is going to be my, the red centers and first light. And I'm just going to always press my seams away from my center. Once we get that done, we're going to slice it into two and a half inch segments. And from there, we're going to sew those segments onto another first light. This begins the way of the block. Okay, it's made like any other log cabin. When we get our first round done, you'll see we're going to have our center, first light, and first dark, and now we're going to introduce the ruler. So I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place that pre-printed center right on the red center end, and I'm going to slice it in number one and number one. Okay? Then we just pick this up, and we'll get rid of our excess fabric, we're going to twist our ruler 90 degrees, and we have number one and number one. Okay. Helps if you go straight, then you don't get stuck on that. Okay, so there you have first round, and you can see the twist beginning. After that, we're going to do round two. Okay, you can see the wonkiness of the first round. We've added the second light and the second dark. Again, we just place the red square back in the same place, right on the middle. And this time we're going to use slot two. So slot two and slot two. And then I just pick this up. And sometimes these are, are still sort of connected, but not to worry because we're going to cut it off in this next cutting. Okay, and then we do number two and number two. And you can see how that's going again. So we got that. Okay? And then we're going to continue on with round three and do the exact same thing, but this time we're going to be using the number three slots. Okay, three and three. Lift your ruler, turn it 90 degrees, place it back down, centering up that red center. And then we'll do round three and three. And we only have one more round to do. This log cabin actually has four rounds. So you can see how that is. And then this is the final round. OK, so this time we're going to use slot four. And again, I always check to make sure that I'm reading the word front. Because when I was making my samples at home, sometimes I'd get interrupted and I'd go to to sew it, and I'd put my ruler upside down. I couldn't figure out why I was going the other way. Okay, final cut for four. Okay, so you got four and four. And also, when you get to the final one, you'll notice that there's a line right here on the ruler, and that's extremely helpful in centering your block along with the center thing. Okay, so we have all our blocks done, and we're going to refer over to the quilt now. And you can see how this is just one of the many layouts. This is called an all sevens. And, well, actually, I'm sorry, it's all sevens up here because it's all in the same direction. And then on this half of the quilt, we've twisted it around. And that's how you do the wonky log cabin. <laughs>